So in your Twitter account, the first word that describes you is wife. And then I think it's mom, and then it's grandmother. And, and when I saw that, I have to confess that I felt just a little bit upset. And then I went and I looked at your husband's Twitter account, and the first word was not husband. And I wanted to ask, first of all, if this was your choice, if this was something that you um, wanted to do or something that maybe somebody thought would be a good idea for the campaign. Um, and if it's your choice, whether you think it's fair for me to have been a bit annoyed by it. <laughs> well, when you put it like that, I'm going to change it. And, you know, I, I mean, there, there is always this, for me, I, I'll speak for myself, but I think it's broader than just me. There's always this internal conflict when you are very uh, committed to your relationships, your family, um, in my case, you know, parents and siblings and obviously my husband and my daughter and now my grandchildren and all, and, and your own identity and how you both feel about yourself and describe yourself. And, you know, yesterday I went to uh, Barbara Bush's, or Saturday I went to Barbara Bush's, yeah, that was yesterday, right? <laughs> I went to Barbara Bush's funeral. And, you know, she gave a very uh, heartfelt speech at Wellesley in, I think, 1991, in which she said, you know, at the end of the day, it won't matter if you got a raise, it won't matter if you wrote a great uh, book, it won't, you know, if, if you are not also someone who values relationships. And, you know, she got a standing ovation after there was a lot of, you know, concern and some uh, protest about her being invited to come speak. And I thought a lot about that because it shouldn't be either or. 